Hello everybody. I wanted to take a little bit of time just to follow up on a couple of little things um, from yesterday as we finished off the book of Esther. I have to admit that um, there was a little bit at the end which was, uh, was skated over. I uh, looked up at the clock and I thought, oh, uh, <laughs> and was, uh, was running through the last part of what I was speaking to there quite, uh, quite quickly. And part of that was Esther 9. And the second half of it, there's the Feast of uh, Purim, I think is the way it's pronounced. And um, this, uh, this feast, as you'll see in the second half of chapter nine, was inaugurated to remember and to celebrate uh, God's salvation for the Jews at this time and a feast they were to continue to keep. And it just uh, a couple of things that just made me think uh, about that and then I was reading uh, during the week. The first thing, uh, in terms of Purim, I guess we could translate that across into communion for us as we celebrate as we share in communion together we are we are remembering uh, what Jesus has done for us and this is very much what the, the feast of Purim is about remembering uh, their deliverance and I, I just thought to myself you know it's good for us to hold in our mind that that communion, like Purim, it is a celebration uh, as well as just a, a remembrance. We will, we will often remember solemnly uh, Jesus dying on the cross, shedding his blood for us. But we also want to remember that it points us forward too. And it points us to the celebration that we have in our salvation. And it's a right and a good thing for us to be able to celebrate the salvation that we have in Jesus Christ. And so I thought that was, that was good to think about. Also, I was thinking and reading, and one of the comments in the commentators that the commentators made was in relation to the reality that in our, in our celebrations, and they were speaking of Easter and Christmas especially, we will uh, often find ourselves lost in all that is happening at those times. And, and we all know that, that Christmas and Easter are, are, are busy times. There's lots of, uh, of feasting going on, uh, being with other people, events, we might be traveling. Um, and, and I just wondered to myself, you know, one way which we could help ourselves to be able to remember and keep the significance of that might be to to make for ourselves another uh, another special time like Purim, where we are making sure that is a, a spiritual remembrance for us. If we find that Christmas and Easter are difficult times for us to really engage with remembering, maybe there's another time that we can make for ourselves and, um, and say, okay, this is when I'm going to make sure that I take myself on some sort of spiritual retreat maybe, or I make sure I have a space to, to put aside for a spiritual celebration uh, with my Saviour, a spiritual remembrance, and it's going to be significant for me. So I hope those are some helpful things uh, for you around uh, Purim. And to finish off, Esther, love to hear your, your comments and thoughts on, um, on what Esther has been provoking for you. And, uh, and thanks for tuning in and joining me. <laughs>